Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious chimichangas. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need three pounds of chuck roast, burrito sized flour tortillas, three potatoes, five Anaheim peppers, four Roma tomatoes, one large onion, garlic, and all of our spices that I will link in the description box. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start by cooking our meat. I'm going to be using my pressure cooker. Um, if you don't have one, I will leave the instructions in the description box on how to do it on the stove top. Okay, so we're going to throw in our meat. And I cut into large chunks. Okay, I'm going to add my three bay leaves along with all of my spices. We're going to add half of the onion, garlic, and we're just going to cover the meat with water. So about with four cups. Okay, so now we're just going to cover it. Make sure that it's on sealing, and we're going to cook for one hour. Okay guys, so once our meat is done, we're going to leave it there to sit for a couple minutes, and meanwhile we can get our Anaheim peppers ready. Okay, so we're just going to grab our Anaheim peppers, and we're just going to roast them. Okay, so once our chiles are nice and roasted, we're going to transfer them into a plastic bag, and we're just going to seal them and allow them to sweat for a couple minutes. Okay, so after a few minutes, we're going to release the steam from our pressure cooker, so just be careful. Okay, so now we're going to open it. And now we're going to get our meat out of our instant pot. So just move it around. Ooh, and it should be super tender. Okay, so now we're going to shred it and we're also going to reserve one cup and a half of the broth. Okay, so now we're just going to shred our meat and it should be super tender. <laughs> That's why I don't use tools. <laughs> and I'm going to remove some of the fat. Okay, so once we have our meat all nice and shredded, we're going to set it to the side, and now we can peel our Anaheim peppers. Okay, so just get them and remove the skin. Okay, and you also want to remove the stem and the seeds. Okay, so once we have our chiles, now we can chop them. Okay, so we're going to grab our pepper and just open it up. And now just cut into strips. And then cut into small strips. All right, so once we have our Anaheim peppers all nice and cut into small strips, you also want to cut your potatoes, the tomatoes, and the rest of an onion. Okay, so once we have everything ready, now we're ready to put our meat together. Okay, so now we're going to grab our pan, we're going to set it on medium high heat, and we're going to add three tablespoons of oil. So we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, so once oil is hot, we're going to throw in our onion. Along with our potatoes. And I'm just going to season them with all-purpose seasoning. And now we're going to cook them for 10 minutes. Okay, so the other 10 minutes we're going to add the chiles and tomatoes. So now we're just going to cook them for a couple minutes. So after that couple minutes, we're going to add our meat. And I'm also going to add three chile chipotles. So now just mix it all together. So after a couple minutes, we're going to add our one cup and a half of broth. So just mix it. And at this point, you want to try your meat for salt and see if you want to add any. 
for me is perfect. So now we're just going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting. We're going to cover it and let that cook for another five to 10 minutes. All right guys, so after 10 minutes, our meat should be done. So of course, just make sure that you test it by grabbing a piece of potato and it should be soft. Okay, so now we are ready to make our delicious chimichangas. Alrighty guys, so now for the fun part, making our chimichangas. So just make sure that you warm up your tortillas before making your chimichangas. And I'm going to spread some beans. Of course, if you wanna just add the meat, they're going to be just as delicious. I'm going to add some cheese. This is queso Oaxaca. Okay, I'm going to add my rice. And now we're going to grab our delicious meat. Okay. And now we're just going to grab the ends and fold like a burrito. Just like that. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our tortillas. All right guys, so once we have our chimichangas are nice and stuffed, now we are ready to cook them. Okay, so here I have my oil ready. I have it set a medium heat. So we're going to put it seam down. So just be careful. And now we're just going to get them all nice and golden. Okay, so just flip it over and allow the other side to get nice and golden as well. All right guys, so once we have our chimichangas all nice and golden all around, drain as much oil as possible. And now we're just going to set them on a paper towel or kitchen towel. And now we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our chimichangas. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I'm going to be serving my chimichanga with some lettuce. And of course you can top them with whatever you want or just serve them like that. I'm going to add some crema mexicana. I'm going to add some guacamole. And my favorite habanero salsa. I'm going to grab my queso fresco. Okay, just like that. Now we are ready to enjoy our delicious chimichangas. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you that I am so ready. My mouth is watery. This filling is just seriously super delicious. And then a chimichanga, my favorite. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. I'm just going to add my salsa. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Even just like that. It's the best. Mm-hmm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious chimichangas. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recruit this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.